Hi, it's Vex. And today we're going to continue doing some box topper simulations for Double Masters VIP. We are going to again simulate a master case of 16. Um, we have our tiers here, we got our distribution amounts, and we are ready to rock and roll. Today we are going to get some force of wills, more force of wills, and guess what? Force of wills again. Or avoid getting trolled and we will see let's spin the wheel boom start off weak and decent all right 99 to 50 so stoneforge goes right there i'm a little excited slam that down fail push not so good but we will live with it all right spin the wheel again okay so second hit first one not bad you know what I would be happy with that. Stoneforge picture looks amazing to me. I like it. All right, next one. Traxa. Crop rotation. Again, it still adds up to 90. Not that bad. Not that bad. Crop rotation, I actually really like the art. I know some people might not, but a Traxa, definitely a winner. So sometimes, as long as you get one winner, I think one winner is just definitely worth it. Um, but two losers, not worth it. Not worth it at all. All right, third pack opening. Advance my counter, whoops, losing things. Let's go, boom. That is not, that's not a winner at all. All right, now, now, now we gotta get a winner. Oh God, oh God. This is the pack that everybody hopes to avoid. You don't want this. You don't want this, you don't want this. You don't want any of it. You wanna avoid it like it's hot. Melly Mage, not so great anymore. I can't believe the day I'm saying Melly Mage is a troll card, but it's pretty trollish. I mean, it only belongs in so many, like, humans and what, um, blue-white control, Zoria's control and legacy. Like, who, who knows who plays Melly Mage anymore? Sorry, Chris Pakula. Sorry, but your card's a troll now. <laughs> At least it's not your art. All right. Fourth pack. Crop rotation again. That's just lame. Abson. Oh, okay, okay. We are here okay that balances out this is a good pack even though we got a low value card we got avison the art is amazing on avison i think she'll be extremely desirable uh once the dust settles her price might drop down to 100 but not any lower i don't think okay pack five cyclonic rift you know i thought this was gonna be a hundred dollars but like 50 bucks and it's, it's gonna go lower Boom, Toxic Deluge, 80. Okay, okay, we'll take it. We'll increase this counter by two. Uh, Toxic Deluge might go lower, but Richard Kane Ferguson art they came out with is so beautiful. I, that's one of my favorite artists, and I am so happy to have him back doing art. I think he has another piece of art in, in double math, like a regular piece of art, like just Richard Kane Ferguson. It's just, I, I'm, I'm very happy. I think I, I definitely want to talk Toxic Deluge because of that. All right, pack six. Crop rotation again, we keep getting it. Oh gosh, half value of a box, a pack, $50. This is just not good. Not good, I'm just gonna say it. All right, here it goes, seven. So this is going differently in the box of uh, simulations I had earlier when I didn't actually know the prices, I just valued them based on my, my desirability or my um, imagination, I guess, on, on their value, but Man, getting these real values, like we're getting way more Armageddon tier cards. I mean, the troll is the troll. It is what it is. So like this, this is not what you want. You don't want to open this, unless you're a Tron player, then you want it, but still, you probably can get something more valuable like this and buy these pieces. Uh, new dice, but not in the place we want it. All right, eighth pack. After this pack, we'll be halfway through. Will we be winners or will we be losers? Uh, it's looking like we're losers right now. Boom, oh, another Tron piece. Well, now now we got the last Tron piece. Oh, oh, bam, we are winners now. This pays for four, four packs by itself. I think this would be extremely desirable. People love the art. It's not my favorite, but that counter goes there. This kind of goes here. So you see the variance, right? You, you can get card worth 430 or you can get card worth 30. It's crazy. 
more cards worth 30 than 430. There's only one one card in this a giant pack that's actually worth 430. But you know what? That is the pack you want. That is the pack everybody wants to open. Unless you're just crazy. <laughs> but if you're not crazy, you want that pack. All right, we start off strong. We got trolled once, but you know what? This makes up for it. I'll even get trolled three times if I get a force of will. <laughs> Boom. Oh, again. Well, that's just random. I, I didn't do that on purpose here. Boom. Fatal push. So see, we get force of will on a crappy card. But you know, we will, we'll take it. You know, if I were to get no good cards, all this area, I'd be happy because I got two force of wills. That's how powerful getting two force of wills makes you feel. Um, you know, it, it is just, it's an amazing feeling. All right, pack 10. All right, boom. Dark Confident, only $50, worth just as much as before a reprint. Sword of Light and Shadow, $100. Oh man, the art on this is amazing. This is a good pack. We are running hot, 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 hot. Bam. Bam, you know what? I think if you don't get that, you know, good cards only in this area for the rest of the packs, we are still happy. We're, we're over the moon. We got like, that's $800 right there in Force of Will money. And then, you know, a couple hundred dollars um, there. We're, we're doing well. We're doing very well. Boom. You know, we don't care. We don't care. We got Force of Will. We're good. We're good. But like, this is still a good pack. I think if you get this pack, you're still, you're happy. I'm happy if I get this pack. Exploration looks amazing. All right, so it should be pack 12. Let's, let's make sure we're actually on pack 12. So we should have 22 open here. 11, 12, 18, 19, 20, 22. Yep, we are on pack 12. It's hard to keep track when you're just so excited talking about Force of Will. I remember when Force of Will came out, came out in alliances. It was an uncommon, believe it or not, uncommon. Oh my God, everybody wanted that card. The card is so desirable and so easy to get too because you just buy a pack and you'd be like, here you go, uncommon Force of Will. Noble Hire, $40. Kalia, 65 is over 100. Still good. Oh man, we are running hot. We are hot. The Noble Hire is even in this Armageddon tier. It's crazy. You believe that? Noble Hire regular used to be over $40. But now, you know, times have changed. That's what reprinting does. You know, Modern Masters 2, uh, Ultimate Masters, and now Double Masters. The reprints will eventually, you know, push down the price, which is good for everybody who wants to buy a. Uh, Cheap cards, you know, I, I own, you know, a play set from each, Conflux, um, Modern Masters 2, Ultimate Masters, and I'll probably get a play set here too. You know, I like the card. And hopefully I can get a play set of, um, of the box stoppers. And it's pretty cheap, as you saw. All right, let's see if we can win. You know, I, I think we are already winners, but let's see. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, it doesn't even matter what the next card is. Like, this is just in, Insane. Insane. Whew. Three force of wills. You know, sometimes you just want things and you don't matter. You don't care if they're good or bad. And then you just get surprised. You just get like, you know, it's like, it's like you just found $500 on the ground and somebody just gave you another $500. I mean, that's, that's, that's just the feeling right now. And I feel good. All right. Boom. All right. Pack 14. Sneak attack. Let's go right here. I feel good about this. Thoughtsies. Oh my god. Hits keep coming. I mean, sneak attack's not a hit, but you know, at least got one good hit. Sneak attack is only worth 30 bucks. It's a mythic, too. It's probably the hot dog picture, whatever. It looks weird. All right, pack 15. It doesn't even matter at this point. We, we, we can get triple trolled, double trolled. It's fine. Life is good. Let's see. Boom. All right, hit me up. Hit me, baby, one more time. All right, $85, not bad. Not bad. Anything at this point is good. All right. Psychotic Rift, man, that art's amazing. I just wish it would be worth more, but you know what? Since it's cheap, it's good for me to buy. I'll do it. All right, this is, should be the last pack. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get here. Boom. Sword of Light and Shadow. Oh my god, the hits keep coming. Alright, let's see here. Just cut some random place. See me cut right here. No, no edits. Brainstorm. Oh my god. 
Oh my God. That's good. That's good. Oh man, that was insane. Now, I know you might ask, hey, collation wise, if you buy a master pack of 16, you might not get that. But technically, the 16 come in 4-4 four, four, and, 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 and you can get it for on each of the four. Uh, Cause I, I don't know how they package, I don't know how they collate, I don't know how they mix things up to make it different. It'd be kind of interesting if you bought 16 and they come from the same sheet, uh, print sheet. But who knows? I think it's totally possible. Again, this is a simulation, so who knows how Wizards uh, collates in the real world. All I know is this one's a winner. I hope my real video um, wins like this. This is crazy. I actually bought from two different sources, so I I might actually get uh, two or three force of wills. It, it, it could happen. Um, anyways, what do you guys think of the prices? I mean, usually what you're averaging is you'll most likely get more of this tier, 49 to you know zero tier. Um, you're likely as likely to get a troll and a, or a jackpot because there's two um, melee mages and there's only one force of will and one mana crypt in this big pile. So you're equally likely to get both sides. Um, you're more weighted towards this side, but if you really think about it, if you get like two $40 cards, you know, if, if a $50 card is going 40, you're still a winner. You know, if you can get the packs for like 85, 100, you still get the rest of the cards. I, I think this is, this is good. It's good for the game that the price is going down. It's good to have lower prices because if you don't get what you want, you could buy what you want. Type in the comments if you think the the prices are pretty stable right now or, or, or where you think some of the cards will end up. Um, and if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to you know, support me, help, help me buy more Double Masters or, or other cool products in the future and do box opening simulations, everything. And as always, have a wonderful day.